Today we'll be showing you how to access the Windows Apps folder in Windows 10. Hey guys, it's Joel here from Make Tech Easier. Since Windows 8 has had a growing number of built-in, automatically installed apps, from everyday things like mail and photos, to games you may not even know you have. Bubble Witch Saga 3 anyone? These are contained in the Windows Apps folder on your hard drive, which can't be accessed without a little tweaking first. Here we're not only going to show you the location of the elusive Windows Apps folder in Windows 10, but also show you a couple ways in which you can access and edit it. This guide will show the manual method of getting access to whatever folder you want, but you can take a shortcut by downloading and using the Take Ownership Context menu option instead. This basically carries out the entire process below in a single click. To use the fast context menu method, you can download this Take Ownership Registry hack. To install it, just extract the zip file, double click install take ownership.reg and follow the instructions. Next, go to your Windows app folder. It should be in C program files by default, but you may need to unhide it by clicking view at the top of the file explorer then ticking the hidden items box. Once you can see the Windows apps, right click it and click the new take ownership button in the context menu. A PowerShell prompt will open and run a command to take control of the folder. Once this is done, you can access Windows apps. If you don't want to have a take ownership command in your context menu for security or other reasons, you can access the Windows apps folder manually instead. The Windows Apps folder is hidden from plain sight. To see the folder, head over to the Program Files folder, click on the View tab and then select the Hidden Items checkbox. This action will show you all the hidden folders including the Windows Apps folder. Though you can see the folder, you cannot open the folder to see the files in it. If you try to open it, your access will be denied even if you are the administrator. To get access to the Windows Apps folder, Right click on the folder and then select the properties option from the list of context menu options. This action will open the properties window, navigate to the security tab and click on the advanced button appearing at the bottom of the window. Once the advanced security settings window has been opened, click on the change link. You will receive a UAC or user access control prompt. Simply click on the yes button to continue. Now the window will show you all the permissions of the Windows Apps folder. As you can see, this folder belongs to the system, meaning you're not able to access it. To change it, click on the Change link appearing next to the trusted installer. The above option will open the Select User or Group window. Here, enter your administrator username and click on the Check Names button. This action will automatically fill in the object name. Now click on the OK button to continue. Here in the main window, you can see that the owner of the folder has been changed to your specified administrator account. Before applying the change, make sure that the Replace Owner on Subcontainers and Objects checkbox is selected. Otherwise, you won't be able to interact with other files and folders inside the Windows Apps folder. After you've done everything, click on OK to save the changes. As soon as you click on the OK button, Windows starts to change the file and folder permissions. This process may take some time, so sit back and wait until the process is completed. Once the folder and file permissions have been changed, you can easily access it like any other folder in the Program Files folder, as long as you are an administrator or have administrator rights. Whichever of the above methods you used, you should now have access to your Windows Apps folder. Even better news is you now know how to take control of any folder on your hard drive. If a folder doesn't let you in due to admin privileges, then the method we went over can be used for that as well. Did you find this tutorial useful? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. If you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.